This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Smith versus Smith. You all have known each other for 30 years or more. You've been married for 15 years. You have three children together. But allegations of cheating are just ripping your relationship apart. Ms. Smith, why are you here today? Well, first of all, Judge, Your Honor, I'm here because my husband, I believe, has some infidelity issues. Um, he does not answer his phone when I call him. She don't answer he, her phone when I, ask, when I call her. Talking about Smith, me, hold on, you're talking chance. about you. Uh, talking about both He of does us. not answer his phone when I call him. Mm -hmm. And then when I call him, he say he's somewhere when he really ain't. And mm -hmm. today, I want some results. And if you yeah, find out baby. he's cheating... I'm gonna kick that butt to yeah, the curb. Baby. To the curb. Yeah, to the curb. Baby. She is done. Gone. To the curb. After 15 years of marriage, you're gonna be done. <laughs> like a steak. Never. Done. Never. Well done. Never. All right. Well done. Never. Put a fork in her. Huh. We know, baby. We know kids well see, done. So we, we know a good steak, so when okay. you say well done, well, we know Well, baby, I'm already charged, so you, you can imagine With that. With a little crisscross Hello. on top of it. Baby. All right. All right, Mr. Smith, you've been wanting to talk. Now, okay. why are you here? I don't answer my phone. She don't, she don't answer hers, neither. But, but why are you here? Don't, we're not talking about her okay, answering well, the phone. I, I want to know why you're here. I'm here to state, to, 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 to let her know that I'm not cheating. I'm, you know what I mean? When I, when I don't answer my phone, I'm not cheating. Well, you need to answer when so, I call. So is this all in her head? I mean, what's going on? It's all in her mind. I mean, you know, that's, that's what made me get out, in, get out in the streets. Whatever she don't do at home, I can go get out in the street. She don't want to oh, back so that. She don't want to back that. that she don't want to look. Hold on. When I be trying to touch her and this and that, that she don't want to do it. She don't want. She don't want me to touch it. Whatever I don't get in. Whatever I don't get at home, I can get in the street. And I tell her back that. So thing is up, that what you doing? And back so up. when you so when back, you're in the back it up. That's what she supposed back. to do. So when you're in the street, you get what you're not getting at home. Nah, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't got it yet, but when she do, you know what I mean. I start standing. I start standing. Hold on. She start backing it up. Yeah, correct yourself. She start backing it up. Okay, so Look, let me get this straight. Up. Okay, all right, hold on. Oh, yeah. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to get it out Hold on, hold on. Let's... Mr. Smith is saying, and you you tell me if I heard this right. Yeah. I think you heard it. So he says, back that thing up. Uh-huh. And either she does, and he's happy about it. Or... Or he go in the street I'll go in the street and go get it. Oh. All right. So is that right. what you're saying you've done? Ain't that, ain't that what I told you? Have you done it? I ain't done it yet, but I will. Well, okay, let so me you, know so, something. All right, so Mr. Smith... You talked about her backing that thing up. Let's back it up to when you all met. How did you meet? At the motorcycle club with his... I was... Me and his brother were friends. He told his brother, oh, I want to... I want to meet her. And I like those lips. That's it. Hold on, Mr. Smith. This, this the lips. This I lips. was not attracted to him remotely either. And because I wasn't attracted I to you, brother honey. with a jerry curl. <laughs> Hello, somebody. You had a oh, jerry wait, curl? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I had a jerry curl. Uh, all right, it, greasy it, it, one. It, it, it fried all off now, so you know, hey. It won't okay. grow. Oh, so hey, I have a picture that was submitted in the court file. And Mr. Smith. Yes, oh, man. there you go. This is there you look at you. Look at that handsome man. Look at you. Oh, it on in, oh, that's back oh, in the day. Back, in, back the in the day. day. Yeah, you got your whole very white thing. Everything. <laughs> you got your player player hat on. I that mean, was to tell you. player style, baby. She, and you were not. I and mean, Miss Smith, you were not attracted to this initially. Yes, she was. Not remotely. Yes, she was. But Mrs. Smith, uh, you contend that she liked it. Right. Every woman that I had, I used to be a player. I'm hey, a player. We Everyone I had, she ran them all the way. I sure did. Ran them all the way. You shut down all the player moves. I did. They sitting in his car. He had a convertible at this time. Yes. Oh, no. I somebody. I would go, who, who, what's going on? Who is this? Going about your way. Yes, I would snatch her out the car physically. And she's yes. gone. Yeah. Hello. Wow. 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 Now, that's... Well... That's taking your claim. That is... She was all about it. <laughs> Now, I have never had to snatch nobody out your yeah, car. Yeah, body, body, baby. But yeah. I, I, don't even, I don't even know if I would... I would be afraid to I do start, that. I start back getting, getting it back. Guy came over there. He, it was a 1,000 degrees outside. He had on a leather suit. OK, let me... Come let over me... there and come pick her up for dinner. Oh, no, it's not happening. <laughs> see ya. So y'all been snatching folk out of each other's way for a while. A long time. And see, that means you all, you all were trying to be together. You didn't want to be with anybody well, else. Because you, you wanted him for you, and you wanted her for you. Not really. Yes, yes you did. did. Yes, you really. did. So after all your plan around, after all this, he's doing what he's doing, you doing what you're doing, you got married. Right. And you've been married ever since. Yeah. Right. All right. You were happy at some point during your marriage. When you got married, please say yes. <laughs> Please say when you got married, you were happy. If you ain't happy when you get married, right. you ain't gonna be happy. I was happy there, yeah. Okay. 
So why are we here today? What is it that makes you think that Mr. Smith is cheating right now? Because he does not answer his phone. You don't answer yours. We ain't talking about me. Mr. Smith, we'll get to you. Hold on. And I downloaded GPS on his phone. Wait, hold on. You say he doesn't answer his phone. What do you mean? I mean, some people miss calls. People miss calls all the time. I don't care. You ain't supposed to miss a call when I call. And if you see I call, then answer your... Call me back or something. Don't just act like it don't exist. So, so you... how many times are you calling him? I can call him 20 it? times in a row and this knucklehead will not answer his phone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so when you, when you... Hold on. So when you call him, he doesn't respond. At some point, you get in touch with him or he comes home. What do you tell him? Mister, where you been? And what does he say? At the casino. You ain't <laughs> got the... that dang much money to be at the casino no all Maybe day. Maybe he's all winning. Night. So winning why what? are you but not you, answering your you, phone? But like in the casinos, when you're in the casinos, you're, you can't. I mean, you're, you can. Uh, well, the phone will ring, but you you can't you can't Spit hear it, it or out. whatever. Then once you come out of the casino, you'll see that you missed a call. Well, Miss Smith, that sounds reasonable. No. <laughs> You don't believe he's at the casino because he's not answering the call. Is that correct? You see that? He lying like the rug. <laughs> All right. What else do you have? Because I, I mean, I can... I'm not saying it's true, but I understand the, the GPS issue. GPS tracker, Judge, Your Honor. <laughs> okay, so you... If you bring it up, I, I can show you. Step to the monitor, please. Thank you, sir. Hello. Looking. I saw you. He watching. Yeah, he's still looking he's... at it. I still got it and after all these years. You still got something going on there. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what you got. This is the GPS tracker. Yes, ma'am. Okay, it's downloaded on my phone, his phone. Okay, and they're right. linked up. <laughs> Hello, this home. All right. Where he never seems to make it to. Uh-oh. This is the casino, about uh -huh. 20 minutes away. Okay. I call his phone. Uh-huh. Where you at, babe? And he's all the way over there. I'm at the casino. Okay, I go to the tracker. It say something different. He 20 minutes away from I the casino. I don't tell him I'm at the casino when I'm not. So Get he's all the way over there instead of at the casino. Yes, ma'am. And you believe he's with another woman? Of course. But well, anyway, I'm, well, why you got me, to lie to kids? You ain't got to lie. I can go and, and be going no where I want to go. Thank you. you why know, is the don't phone? Don't no woman tell me. Don't no woman tell me where to go, when to come. Nothing. Mr. Smith. Right. Okay, okay, hold it, Mr. Smith. If I tell her I'm at the casino, I'm at the casino. If I tell her I'm over a friend house, I'm over a friend house. What friend? But why is the GPS it, it, telling it, it, okay, her something it, it, different she, than what you're telling her? Okay, she said she come wherever I'm at. Knock on the door. Mrs. Smith. Knock on the door. Mrs. Smith. Yes, sir. Why is the GPS telling her something different than what you're telling her? That, that's because she don't come check. Now, he said you didn't come check on him. Have you ever found him where, somewhere where he wasn't supposed to I be? I have found his car... And he not be there. Did you, did you not get out? Did okay, tell us what going? happened. Mr. Smith, hold on. Tell and us what happened. This is what happened. I call him to see where he at. Okay. Oh, I'm with my friends. Da, 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 da. Okay. I get in my car and I go look for him. I find the car. I call him. He ain't there. He in the car with his friend. Somewhere right. other than where he was supposed to be? Bingo. And okay. so when you asked him about that, what did he say? We went somewhere. We went, we went rolling over here. We went rolling over there. We... I don't drive my car everywhere. You know what I mean? I just... I, I drive to the other side of town and I park my car and I might get in the car with a friend or, you know... I don't, I don't, I don't just roll everywhere in, in my car. And yeah. you don't believe he's rolling with a yeah, friend. You think he's rolling with another it's, woman. It's, it's real. It's real. That rug is real. When I call his phone and after it rings several times, then finally he initiate to answer the phone and then he he answered like I'm one of the homeboys. What's up? Never. Wait, hold on. What is that? No, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> Tell me what that looks he like. He answers like one of the homeboys. Yeah, yeah, like, what's up? I mean, he says that to me. I don't take no, that as... No, not, not like you his homeboy, though. I'm not your homeboy. I'm your wife. Yes, darling. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I get it. Baby. I get it. I get not it. Not what's All up, right. baby, but it's like, what's up? No, what okay. You, okay, okay. so I don't understand. You call me a, a lot of times. I don't answer the phone. So then you finally call me and I pick up. No, I don't call you and you don't answer the phone. <laughs> Come on, now. Huh. Work with me here. Preach. Okay. Work All with right. me here. Preach. All right. Okay, so the phone rings and I finally answer it. I say, yo, what's up, man? Why are you saying, what's up, man, to me? <laughs> oh, dude, don't play me like that, man. Why are you saying dude to me? Uh-huh. Are talking... you saying that's what he's doing? Right. Well, oh, what do you mean? Hello, bae. Okay, so... No, no, you don't uh, say yes. no hello, bae. I when do I, sometimes. When I, when I... 
So the reason you're concerned about this is why would he do that? Who's listening exactly. with him? Exactly, being And you think it's another woman. Hello, somebody. Okay. Mr. Smith, is it your testimony, based on everything we're hearing, that you have not cheated? That's my testimony. And so, her being concerned about the phone call and you like, what, or what's up, or, or what's up, man, or whatever it is, is not proof that you with another woman. It's not. Let's review what we have in like terms of evidence. Cold. We have the GPS tracker that's been put on Mr. Smith's phone. And he's not where he says he's supposed to be. Exactly. Not he's true. 20 minutes away from where he's supposed to be. You say he disappears and you're calling and calling and calling. He says he's at the casino and he doesn't respond. I thought he was Wesley Snipes in Disappearing Act. Oh, my goodness. And then you have to call him, like, you say 100 times. Well... Before I mean, he answers his good. phone. And then he answers you as if you're one of his homeboys. And so you think that there's another woman sitting over there listening so he doesn't want her to know he's talking to his wife. Yes. This is all the evidence we've had. And you're saying if it comes out that Mr. Smith, who is denied that he's cheating, is in fact cheating, your 15-year marriage, your family is done. Yes. You are out the door. Tell her promise. With the wind. Tell her the promise. This court has done a full and complete investigation to determine is he cheating? <laughs> At this time, the court would like to hear from licensed private investigator Eric Eccles. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Eccles into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. <laughs> Eric Eccles. Step right over to the monitor, please, sir. Thank you. Tell us what you and your team did to investigate this case. In this particular case, we put Mr. Smith in a room with one of my female associates, and her goal was to find out whether or not Mr. Smith is a cheater. What were your findings? Well, let's take a look. <laughs> As you can see, looking at the video, my associate walks up to Mr. Smith after a few minutes of them communicating at which time they then exchange social media accounts. Hmm. And what's that no, about? No, you show me some pictures. Then she asked me... Hold on, Mr. Oh, Smith. Mr. Smith? Wait, oh, hold okay, on. Wait. We're here for Mr. Eccles wait, now. Wait. Continue, Mr. Eccles. So once they exchange um, social media accounts, um, you can see on the video, this is where they were um, communicating. I mean, it looks like there's some... Um some interaction going on. Looks like it could be innocent. Well, Your Honor, um, after um, looking at it, there was some flirting. There was, there was never no flirting. Well, your team also conducted a polygraph exam. Is that correct, Mr. Eccles? Yes, Your Honor, we did. And you have those results? Yes, I do. All right. Mr. Smith was asked, have you ever told your wife that you were at the casino when you were actually having physical sexual contact with another woman? What was his response? Mr. Smith's response, he pled the fifth and refused to answer. What? He didn't, he didn't, ask, he didn't ask me. He didn't, he didn't ask me. Mr. Smith. No, no, Cut it out. no, Mr. no, no. Smith. I didn't know. You what? all came here, and your wife specifically came here okay. for answers. You said you came here to show that you were doing the right thing. Exactly. Why are you pleading the fifth? Answer the question. I didn't. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't answer that question. OK. Let's ask the next question. Mr. Smith was asked, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman in the 15 years that you have been married to Mrs. Smith? What was his response? Mr. Smith was asked, have you ever had sexual intercourse with another woman in the 15 years that you have been married to Mrs. Smith? What was his response? Again, Your Honor, he pled the fifth and refused well, to answer. Well, you don't have an answer? I sure did. OK. So you pled the fifth to that question? I did. Why did you refuse to answer if you both if came here for ago, I don't know what I done did or what I didn't do. Yeah, you know. OK, Wait. well, that's a yes or no question. Okay, no. But that's not truthful. Well, okay. Why you can't answer it? Have you had my, sex my... in the past 15 years, Denise? No. In the 15 years you've been married, you said you don't know what you did or didn't do? Exactly. 
You... No, no, no. Well, I played the fifth. Oh, well, no, Mr. Smith. whatever. <laughs> no, when you're married, you know whether you cheated or not. So, Miss Smith, my question to you is, are you going to stay? Are you out? I'm out. Okay. Like Audi 5000. <laughs> I mean, because point blank, the question is plain and simple as the nose on our faces. Miss Smith, this is a 15-year marriage. And your point? No disrespect, but I'm doing him a favor. You all have been together for 11 years. Uh, you live in Las Vegas. You're engaged to be married. A good old Vegas-style wedding, which may or may not take place, depending on what happens here today. Mr. Leslie, you've opened this case. Tell us why. Well, I don't trust my fiance, Your Honor. I mean, our relationship has changed since we moved to Vegas two years ago. You know, I'm, I'm finding flirty, flirty messages. She's flirting with the neighbors, behind, behind, on the side of us, in front of us, and behind us. It just isn't the same since we met. You know, I'm willing to marry this girl today if she passes the test. All right, Miss Dillinger, he's like, you, you are just the neighbor of exactly. all time. Thank you. Exactly right. The neighborhood girl, right? It, it drives me crazy. Well, come on now. You all know right, you got well, that are you flirting? Are you flirting with the neighbors? Absolutely not. I say hi. And that's it? That is it. Your Honor, it's not how she says hi, it's how she talks. She's very talkative and, I mean, she looks in their eyes as if, like, they, she falls I... into their realm, no. you know, and they fall no. into hers. Okay, no. but wait a minute, hold on, hold on. No. Wait a minute, are you saying that she has a, an effervescent personality? She did, she did it to me. And she is attractive? Very. And she's engaging? Yes, she is. And isn't that what got you? Yes, it is. Okay, how you expect her to turn that off? Yeah, I don't want her to change it, but tone it down just a little bit. Okay, well, Miss Dillinger, are you that person? Are you effervescent and engaging? I, I am tired of the accusations. I'm tired of body inspections. I'm not being flirty. I'm just a nice person. Uh, how do you all end up here in front of us? Well, you know, uh... Yes, how do we? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, you know, I had some suspicions. I'm, I'm getting a little leery of things, and I mean, I'm in my room, you know, in our room, mind you. Uh, I'm fumbling through things, and I open up a drawer, and I, uh, I run across this like a tablet. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the page, I find something like this. Let's see. Let's see. Let, let me look yeah, at this. Yeah, right. What's the name? Uh, with that phone number? Daddy Long. Right. Oh. Right. I'm sorry. Right. And you yeah. find this in a yeah. notebook in your bedroom. Yeah, on the dresser drawer, right here. And that's no. not your phone number. No, no, that's not no. my phone and, number. No, and you've never been called that by her, have you? Uh... Well, no, I don't answer that. Wait, wait, no. No. Okay. And does it look like her handwriting? Yeah, it looks like her handwriting, yeah. All right, Miss well, Dellinger, well, whose know. number is this? Okay, so number one, this is where I say he's lost his mind. Mm. Because, number one, it did not say that. There was a female's name. Yep. She was at Walmart giving gift cards for surveys, and you did meet her because you were there when I got the gift card, right? I don't remember that. Ms. Dellinger, Ms. Dellinger, you're yes. saying it didn't say what he says it no. said. So what did it say? It was a female's name. And, and he... you know this lady because she gave I surveys. don't know her. I okay. called her, and then she never called me back. But you... Did you see the piece of paper that had that no, name on it? You I You never didn't. saw it? No. And I asked him, I remember writing it down, and I remember the name, and I don't know the number, but he did... I, the only time I saw it was when he said, oh, what's this? But then, after that, I kept saying, well, where's the, where is it now? Where is it now? And he couldn't produce it. I... But still, it wasn't what he says it said. But, but Ms. Dellinger, okay. Yes. He says it said those three words. Mm -hmm. Were any of those three words in there? Or was Absolutely it there? Absolutely not. It's something completely different. No, I don't call people that. Well, I, I mean, do not. I don't even call him that. Why would I call that? He's called you know? me daddy, you know? No, what I'm yeah, saying, that that's Daddy Marmar, but I don't say anything. No. Well, you know... No. Well, so, have you found anything oh, else yeah. that makes you think yeah, I'm about to, that oh, your fiance is cheating? Yes, ma'am. I'm about to get to that right now. All right. You know, I'm, I'm fumbling through her phone and stuff, and uh, I find something, lo and behold. You find a You're text, you find, what do you find? I find a picture. I, I find a picture. And you brought that picture here with yes, you today? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay, Ron, would you grab that for us, please? Yeah. Yes, sir. There you go. Oh. All right, what we got? <laughs> wow. It's a penis. So you're looking through her phone and you come across this. Yes, oh. penis pic. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I know it's not mine. I mean, last time I checked, mine's black. Mine's brown. You know, that's white. 
and so another thing, this, mine's bigger. This is not you. Oh, no way. This, for, 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 hold on, Miss Dallas. You, no, you sure sorry. this is not you? Oh, last time I checked, I had to go in the mirror and look, and it wasn't me. Oh, my okay. gosh. I, and I, I got to say, Color, I would expect him to know him. If no, nobody else know yeah. him, he knows him. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right, ma'am. Could, could this be Daddy Long no, line? No, really? Put two and two together? Yeah, that's what like I came it? out with. Hold on, hold on. Hold Let's on. Look, we want to hear from her. Thank you. How in the world, why in the world, do you have a picture of a man's penis in your phone? Number that's one, not his. No, it's not his, and that's an ugly penis. I wouldn't be messing with that. But number two, there it was <laughs> in my phone, but... It's a family member was not... That's not a family member. No, oh, wait. Oh, a family okay. member was losing, oh, oh, my, phone. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, losing hold on. my phone. The clouds synced, downloaded their pictures to my phone. It was not in my messages, not in my email. It was but downloaded to my to phone from phone? another... Because a cloud. Mr. Leslie, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, hold but on. it's true. Okay, like, okay. wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me make sure I'm understanding Yes. This. You do you share a phone service with a family member? No, but she borrowed my phone. Okay, and she synced it to her information. And my information was on that phone. Her information got downloaded to the phone. So then when you put your information back to the phone, it kind of just all you know how the pictures are downloaded to your phone. So from okay. there. Not, not too many coincidences sir, to me. I, so are you saying she had your phone? Yes. And she synced her information yes. to your phone. And part of that sync was her pictures came to your phone. Yes, ma'am. And you're saying one of the pictures that came through her is this one we just and saw. I had no idea it was on my phone. How many pictures oh, of this family God. members ended up on your phone? There was just that. No, there was lots of pictures. That one just happened to be in with them. Mr. Leslie, did you see any other pictures in her phone that would have come from another family member? Uh, you know, Your Honor, I couldn't even say it. That took my mind and it just erased everything. <laughs> well, I, I mean, that was that. enough. I wasn't thinking about anything else. I can that, understand, understand why that would catch your uh, eye. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, so what, is, what did you say to Miss Dellinger when well, you found that picture? I came up to her. I, I was hot. I was heated. You know, I came up to her and said, what, what's this? She's like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, well, it came to her phone, so how wouldn't she know? But, but you're not buying that. No, me. not at all. Not at all. I wasn't buying it. All right. Do you have any other reason to believe well, that Ms. Dellinger is cheating? Yeah, yeah. Um, we get busy and start doing our thing, and, you know, my sugar wasn't as sugary as it was supposed to be, you know Are I mean? you freaking for real? Yeah. Your I'm sugar cool. wasn't as oh sugary as it was supposed to be. Oh it, was just, it was a little bit off. It wasn't... Okay. By no I means. Uh, I mean, uh, my baby smells that... really good. But it was different. But it was different. But it was different. It's like this. So, I've been raised. I was raised by a wise woman. You know, my mama said, if your partner, or your lady is having sex with multiple partners, the smell is gonna be off. It's gonna be off. Body chemistry. All right, Miss Dellinger, he didn't put it all out there for real. Really? Literally, yeah. Let me tell you, a female, our hormones change, our bodies change. I'm sorry, it could have been after a month. You never know. Yeah. We're girls. I, I, yeah, I try to take that into consideration. Jeez. I'm sorry, I can't smell the same way every damn day for 11 years. But don't you think after 11 years he would have seen all those changes at some point? Probably, but I'm getting older now. He says this is know. new. I don't know. Uh. All right, so you don't know why. You have a theory why. I think we need some medical clarity on this. We have brought in the friends of the court to come in and give us that medical clarity. At this time, the court will call Dr. Tasha Rogers, an OBGYN, to come and help us with this issue. Thank All right, you. please escort her in. Dr. Rogers, I'm going to have you right over the witness stand, oh. please. How are you? Hello, how are you? Dr. Rogers, how are you? I'm good. It's good to see you today. <laughs> you as well. As you may have heard, Mr. Leslie says that his fiance's vaginal scent has changed recently, mm -hmm. and he was told by his mother that when a woman smells differently, <laughs> that that might be a sign that she has multiple partners. So, is it possible <laughs> that if you have multiple partners, you would have a change in your vaginal scent? Well, every person has a discreet 
scent. Yep. Okay? Multiple sex partners will not change your scent. Mm. But if you've developed an odor, then that can be associated with infection, which some of those infections absolutely can be associated with multiple partners. Okay, but that, I'm, I'm gonna say, there's a difference between scent absolutely. and odor. Absolutely. Scent oh, oh. is just what it is. What? Odor exactly. would be bad smell. Exactly. And you said that that didn't exist. Yeah, I see, I'm, okay. by no means. I'm, All right. right. Could a woman's age and changing body be a reason for a change in her vaginal scent? No. Okay. Um, bleeding, um, different feelings, yes, but not odor, per se, with age. Okay. Well, Dr. Rogers, that sure helps so much. Thank you. You look beautiful no in that Thank red, you. by the way. <laughs> Thank yes, you. you do. Yeah, Ron's gonna show you out. Thank you. Okay. So, Mr. Leslie, you've heard testimony from an OBGYN. Hey. Well, I, and I see you, Ms. Dellinger. You are just... Do you, do you want to give that to I your... I do. To your... Okay. Hey, baby. What are you feeling in this particular moment? It hurts because I love this man. I've been down for him. I've never done him wrong. Um, I think we've heard enough. So here's what we have in terms of facts, Mr. Cutler. We have the mystery number with Daddy Longblank. <laughs> we have the special picture that was found in her phone that she says was downloaded from a family member. And then this whole issue of her smelling different, but we have some different medical testimony about that issue. So maybe his mother wasn't right on this one. So with all of that, Mr. Leslie says that if Ms. Dillinger is cheating, their engagement is off. But he also said if she's not cheating, you would marry her today. If that, did, I re, did I remember that correctly? I said right today. So in, in a Vegas-style wedding. In a Vegas-style wedding. And we had Dr. Rogers here who cleared up one part of it, but you have other reasons to believe that she may be cheating. Yes. And so we're going to resolve those because we've done a full and complete investigation. And at this time, the court is going to call a certified polygraph examiner, Kendall Shull, to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please escort Mr. Shull in. Be ready. Good day, Mr. Shull. It's Thank good to you. see you. Good to see you. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? Uh, I was privileged to spend almost 30 years with the FBI in uh, Washington, D.C. When I retired, I was head of the entire FBI's polygraph pr program. And uh, as a result, I've done thousands of polygraph exams. And you conducted a polygraph examination of Ms. Dellinger, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. You asked Ms. Dellinger, did you have physical sexual contact Listen. with the person Mr. Leslie found in your notepad named Daddy Long Blank. What was her response to that question? She said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? Well, the lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. Okay. Okay. And let's go. Big smile on more. Mr. Uh, Leslie's face. It's good. It's good. We, we still have other questions. Yes, we, do. we have more. You asked Ms. Dellinger, did you have physical sexual contact with a man whose penis picture was found in your phone? Mm -hmm. What was her response to that question? She said no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. Don't get ahead of yourself. No, right. but right. no. Okay. One more question. Mr. Shull, you asked Ms. Dellinger, since moving to Las Vegas, have you had physical sexual contact Listen. with anyone Listen. other than Mr. Leslie? Listen. What was her response? She said no, Your Honor. Listen. Be what ready. did the lie detector determine? On this question, Your Honor, it was determined that she was being truthful as well. <laughs> You. Did I tell you? Come on, sister. I mean, we've been through a lot of stuff, a lot of obstacles, and we've overcame them. All right? Mm -hmm. I love you to death. You just showed me you here for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something. Will you marry me, baby? Yeah. Yeah? All right, baby. All right. Yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> 
Don't let your family member use your phone for free. <laughs> no, there you go. no That's more the main one right there. Mr. Leslie, you just popped a question to Ms. Dellinger, and she said yes, and you told her that if she passed today's exams, that you would have a Vegas-style wedding for her. And you've told the court that you have a surprise. Yes, I did. And now it's time for that surprise. So, you promised a Las Vegas style wedding. You two are married. Yes, yes. Your Honor. Been together two, married two years, together five. Yes. Yes. And you all actually met when you were putting your mother in a nursing home. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes. All right. So, why did you bring your husband here today? Because I feel like my husband's side chick instead of... And not his wife. His side chick? Yes, his side chick. How does a wife become a side chick? How does a wife become a side chick? What is he doing to make you feel like a side chick? I can call my husband sometimes. He won't answer my calls. Oh. He'll send me straight to voicemail, depending on who he around. So, automatically, I'm gonna feel that type of way. This hurts you deeply. Yes. I'm your wife. This not, I'm not your girlfriend. Do you treat her like a side chick? I treat her... I, tr I treat her accordingly. So, what does that... Whoa. Okay. <laughs> what so that is there a time... Wait, wait, wait. Hold what up. What does that mean? Is there a time when she's a side piece? She acts like a side piece? I don't know a wife that puts you out three times a week. What are you doing? Years. And I don't... It's well, like, I don't, you, I, I don't put him out that. three times a week, but when I do, don't answer or, like, lock the door, it's because he been ignoring me all day long. Whoever you around, I don't care who you around, answer your phone. Anything could be happening. I gotta tell you, we have three kids. <laughs> and... And not answering the phone is not an option. I don't it's care how mad option. we are at each other. do that. You got to answer your phone because you but, don't know what's going on see, in the but, household. Yeah, y'all cut from a different type of cloth. This is a different type of situation. No, it's not. Yeah, so, no, no married folks married folks. Marriage, married folks. marriage is situation. marriage. Did, yeah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you this. Did your vows say in sickness and in health? No. You didn't... Oh! Your vows didn't say that? My, oh, my vows said treat them like suppose. What? So treat people how they treat you. Better or worse? You didn't have better or worse in your vows? I ain't hear nobody tell me that. Who, who said that? And this was his idea to get married and, and, and this is how I'm getting treated. Even the clerks, when we got married at the courthouse, in my courthouse, they said, maybe you shouldn't marry this man. He's not ready. And they don't even know us. Okay, they said that at the courthouse? When you yes. get married? Yes. Don't All right. marry him because he was cracking jokes and stuff about getting married. He was not taking it seriously. And this well, was his idea. He proposed me. I didn't say let's get married. He did this. Okay, what's on the line today if you find out he's cheating? I'm done. I'm going to file for divorce. I'm just really? going to leave because he... I can't make nobody be with me. Right. I cannot make him love me. I can tell you are absolutely serious about I'm this. I'm tired. Do you understand that she do. is absolutely serious that if this doesn't... If you are cheating, she is divorcing you? Yes. Are you okay with that? I mean, I don't want to get no divorce, but if that's what, you know, what we got to do, that's what we got to do. Do you love her? Yes. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to stay with her? Uh, no. Oh. Oh. Nah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. I can't, I can't. I got up so, out of my bed and came here, so yeah, I'm gonna do what it takes. I'm so, do what it does. So are these the kind of jokes you were cracking on your wedding day that's put the question in her mind from day one? Hey, wait a minute, those are the jokes he was cracking. He missed the important part. In, in sickness and health, better or worse, you missed the part they that you need that. to hear. They don't have that no more. Yes, they do. <laughs> did you, wait. At the wedding you show went to, me. did they have that? Yes, they did. They All right, y'all were at different weddings then. Uh, Clearly, okay. at some point, you were happy. Yeah. yeah. It's hard for me to see it. You can see I got one eye open on this. Right. Can you take me back to the happy times? Okay. When I first met him, he, uh, I met him at his place of employment. Okay. He was, uh, he a CNA, and my mother had, was getting transferred into his facility. Okay. And, um... Uh, 
his coworker called him up. You should come up here. These girls from Chicago, they pretty, you know. What was he like yeah. back then? Um, he was telling me, like, all this good stuff. Like, um... Like what? You beautiful. Because I may want to tell Miss Cutler some of this. So, t- <laughs> what, what good stuff was uh, he telling Oh, he was telling me, like, you're a beautiful uh, woman and... Yeah, I like that. You can use uh, that. I like the fact, okay, you wear your real hair and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, he just made me, like, feel like... He put my self-esteem, like, over the roof. When he said that at the time, he meant it. He didn't just say that. He couldn't have been just saying that at the time. And All right. Do stuff like that. Mr. Right. Butler, is that how scary. you remember it? She cute. She always been pretty to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she ain't that, No disagreement there. Yeah, she a pretty woman. And so how did you treat her in the beginning? Decent. All right, well, here's my question. <laughs> you say he treats you like a side piece. What was he doing at that time that's different than what he's doing he now in terms of how he whole... treats you? Can I go into history or... Absolutely. We want to hear the story. Okay, I met him at the nursing home. Six weeks later, I found out he was married. Oh! Ooh! He didn't okay, tell you he was minute. married? <laughs> no. I found out one of the co-workers at the job, they conveniently wanted to let him know that uh, his wife had called. And you had no idea? No. What point did it seem like, okay, I probably ought to mention to this young lady, I'm still married? I, I mean, That's she, not fair. After she, fa- after she found out, you know, I, I, t- no, I told I, her. Yeah, if she I, hadn't I, found I out. I was trying to get her first, and then I was going to tell her. No, no, okay. no. That's not how this works. Because, that, see, that. doing it that way, you put in her mind distrust right off the beginning. So you messed up your relationship with that, that notion. Because you know what? If you're married, you ain't supposed to have an, a friend. Yeah. Okay. okay, so ultimately, I mean, we could talk about this all day. Ultimately, you all, he divorces and you all get married. Yeah. And yeah. how was that at the beginning? You're married at the beginning. Good. It was good? That first. So why are you convinced that he's cheating now? Go ahead. I didn't call him on, um... Dating websites since we've been married. What? And he say that he do this when he get mad at me. I didn't talk to a couple of the women. He portrayed himself to be a single man. How did you find out he was? I went on his phone when he was asleep and they got notifications. Mr. Butler? Yes. Are you on dating sites? I was. Since you've been married? Yeah, I've done it. Did you list yourself as a married man or a single man? I, I list myself as a single man. Do you it, think you're single? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> when I get put out. Why are you getting put out? Three times a Why week. Why are you getting put out? I do, Why? I go do what I want to do. Because if, if you put me out your house three times a week, what you gonna do? Why is your wife putting you out of the house three Your times Honor, a week? Because he get caught cheating well, and on argue. dating websites well, and he don't answer the phone. Well, I talked to these ladies. He, he met one that lived right down the street from us. He took money from her. This woman told me when I called her that she was his business. She didn't even know he was married. She said, I'm his business partner selling cars. I said, excuse me? He's a man. Who are you? Did you know he had a business partner? No, I'm the only business partner. <laughs> and she, she, she was misinformed by him. She was a lady that I met. Uh huh. We know that much. Yeah. And then, and then what happened? Well, I, I, met, I, met, I met this lady off, off, uh, off the dating website. Uh huh. The dating website. And then when, when, when I met her. Your Honor, she brought him. She brought him jeans, well, about, brand yeah. new jeans. So I seen her in a. She bought you clothes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, what did you do to get her to buy you clothes? Why? She just liked it me. She. No. Uh, yeah. I liked it him, but I didn't buy him clothes till he was mine. But my my my. <laughs> that's un- that's understandable. Did you ever sleep with this woman? No, I didn't want to. She if she looked like some, I would have. <laughs> We, we're done with that. <laughs> Tell me about this other okay, lady. Okay, this other woman he so-called met at this car wash. She used to be weighing like 500 pounds. That's what he told me. And then she lost weight or whatever. He met her at the car wash. And um, she offered to 
She had a car she wanted to give to him. He sell cars, I guess she didn't know about me. She said, well, I got this car, you can just have it, you can sell it. The seat broke, because I used to weigh 500 pounds. I broke the seat back in the car. <laughs> he told me this. So we got and blue jean lady, the and we got car wash lady. The yeah, the car wash 500 pound lady. Well, what makes you think that he was cheating with her? Because I, I didn't know nothing about it. I didn't meet but, him. I didn't meet her with him. I know, but what makes you think he was cheating he was with her? Because it happened behind my back. I'm not for sure. I want to find okay. out. I don't all know. All right. Uh, I want to know what you're so, laughing so about. So all you know is that he was talking he to her. It, yeah. Actually telling the story. Mr. Butler, did you sleep with a woman from the car wash? No. I haven't had sex with anyone but my wife. Did you have any kind of relationship with this woman from the car wash? No, I haven't. Did you text her? Quite a few times. Wow. Yeah. Miss Hyler, are there any other women yes. that you know yes. about or any other... Just recently, he went to NAP in the beginning of May. He met a woman at a liquor store. She was on his Facebook page. And the only reason why he removed her off his Facebook page is because she started asking questions about me, his wife, somebody that he just met. Well, I mean... Do you care? Do you have a response? About what? Oh, Ms. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss Hyler, if we find out that Mr. Butler has, in fact, not had sexual intercourse with these women, are you willing to stay? We gotta get counseling. Some marriage counseling. Oh, That's my it. God. I do some marriage counseling. So, what you're saying is there's a lot on the line here. Yes. And you want answers. Yes. To get to the bottom of this, we've had Mr. Butler take a polygraph examination. Yes. And most importantly, we have the results. Ron, would you escort licensed private investigator Eric Eccles into the courtroom, please? Yes, Your Honor. Good morning, How you sir. Doing, Your Honor? How are you, Mr. Eccles? I'm doing fine, Your Honor. How about yourself? We're doing good. 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 You have worked on a lot of cases similar to today's couples, haven't you? Oh, yes, I have. What techniques do you use to investigate these types of cases? Well, as you can tell, when you're dealing with a character <laughs> such as... Oh, my God, exactly. <laughs> character. There, there are different techniques. Um, there's surveillance. Okay. Uh, you can do covert surveillance and mobile surveillance. So tell us what you did to investigate Mr. Butler. Well, Mr. Butler, you can see he's smiling at me. Um, I went undercover um, in this particular case, and we did polygraph. And when I say undercover, I posed as if I was oh, the cheating spouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I didn't even know that was you. <laughs> so I did that, and then we did polygraph. Ah. Uh, all right. So when you went undercover, uh, what did you find? One of the things that, that I look at when I do something like that, I, I look at the responses that a person gives me. Okay. And the responses that he gave me, some of them turned out to be that he was not being 100% honest. Mm -hmm. You also had him take a polygraph test, is that correct? Yes, sir. All right. One of the questions Mr. Butler was asked was, since being married to Lisa, that's Ms. Hyler, did you have sexual intercourse with the lady you met at the car wash? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that Mr. Butler was being truthful. All right. How are you feeling? How do you feel? That's good, you know. That's but you, you, want, you want more? Yes. Mr. Butler was asked, since being married to Ms. Hyler, have you had a sexual intercourse with the woman who bought you clothes? No. What was his response to that question? Mr. Butler's response, Your Honors, was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that Mr. Butler was being deceptive. <laughs> Mr. Butler? Oh, my God. I ain't had sex with the woman. So. Did you have anything with the woman? Nothing. Did you kiss her? Did I kiss her? I... Did nah, I stutter? No, she... Nah, she kissed me. Okay. She kissed she you? She kissed you. All right, Did okay. you kiss her back? 
Uh uh. It wasn't that type of kiss. It's like a kiss on a job. Uh uh uh. How like, many thank, times? So she didn't buy them jeans for anything. Okay. I ain't, That's tu- fine. I ain't touched Miss Hyler, the the polygraph indicated the deception was indicated. Okay. Now, what do you want to do? How long ago was that? A year ago. I I got I already got my paperwork to file for divorce. <laughs> Why are you clapping? Your wife just said she got paperwork to file for divorce, and you're clapping. I, I, I just don't know, man. I, I, we'll work it out. Well, you know, Miss Hyler. I'm never gonna be able to trust. I'm never gonna. I can't do it no more. I'm 45 years old. I just wanna like move on with my life. I can. I don't need that.